February is Go Red for Women Month, a campaign by the American Heart Association to encourage women to know the risk factors of heart disease, which is the number one killer of women. Connecting Point correspondent Carolee McGrath spoke with registered nurse and veteran Heart Association volunteer Angela Smith to learn more. Go Red for Women is a clever way that the American Heart Association um, decided to inspire women to do something for themselves and um, wearing red for the heart for uh, heart month which is February is something that lets women draw attention to themselves for a change and inspire them to do some health and lifestyle changes for them you know and when I was growing up maybe it's just me I always thought heart disease well that's kind of something that men have to worry about am, am I alone in that thinking I think people forget about heart disease, how it affects women. We hear about men having heart attacks, but women, it's the number one killer of women is heart disease. Which number is very one. surprising for people. It's very surprising, one in three, heart and stroke. So together, it's something that um, we need to really bring awareness, and that's why I'm here today. A lot of people, um, when you think about women's health, you think about you need to go get your mammogram, which of course is still extremely important. But what do you have to do to make sure that you're in good shape and, and you're not at risk for having a stroke or a heart attack? Right. Number one, you have to see your physician. Women over 50 are at highest risk and then even over 65, um, much higher risk for heart disease. So it's important that you have your annual checkups with your physicians and partner with that physician and they'll review if you have any of the risk factors for heart disease, which would be high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, those are some smoking and family history and they'll review that and what happens is he'll build a scorecard with you and that physician will then know from that day forward what things that you can do together and um, enhance your health. And what are some of the things that you can do? So number one, it would be if you have high blood pressure, you absolutely need to control your high blood pressure. And it is difficult for people that um, they don't have any, high blood pressure doesn't have any symptoms. So what happens is people minimize it and they really need to be able to take medication if they need to. If they lose weight sometimes that will also lower someone's blood pressure. You should check your um, cholesterol levels and make sure that your cholesterol isn't too high and um, diabetes as well. They'll do blood sugar checks on you. So it's just getting a baseline of where you're at and then you can go forward from there. So it's really just kind of watching your diet and, and exercise? It is, it's your lifestyle. When you get up every morning, it's just like brushing your teeth. Think about, okay, what can I do for my health, overall health? And your heart is in the center of your chest. It's the center of everything, just like women are the center of their families generally. And they really need to work hard at trying to um, put themselves first and then decide every morning what they're going to do for themselves so then they are available Well, for you brought family. up a different topic now. We're going off on a different tangent, but mm. I think that women often do feel like, I'm going to take care of the kids, I'm going to take care of my husband, I'm going to get to work. And, right. you know, we know that a lot of times we're last. Right. And what happens with heart disease is the symptoms can be very vague sometimes, especially for women. I'll go over some of the symptoms for you, but when it's vague, people, women tend to minimize the symptom. Right. Then they don't seek help, and then they don't, at that point, there's some irreversible damage that could have happened to their heart. So it's important for women to understand that if they're having problems with, men will have often more of a crushing type, an elephant sitting on your chest radiating to your, your neck or your back or your you know throat. Um, women can have that as well, but sometimes it's more vague. It feels like a fullness and sometimes they just get short of breath or they feel a sense of overwhelming anxiety or nausea. Um, and um, things like that that just come along all of a sudden and then sometimes the symptoms will go away. So those are just subtle symptoms that, that shouldn't be normal for, for women and you have to realize what's going on and absolutely seek help. But when you, when you get symptoms like that, like you could be driving mm -hmm. in the car and then all of a sudden it goes away, do you just say, oh, that was just too much coffee or do you go and make an appointment? Right, for I think it's important to 
write stuff down because what happens is um, with my patients, it's funny, I'll always give them a pad and a pen when they go home and they'll write it down and it's amazing how many times that might have happened oh. and you minimize that. Mm -hmm. So then you think, well, yes, it's time for me to seek help. Once, driving a car, probably not, but if it happens again, just sort of keep track of when does this happen? Is it a time of day? Was it after I had coffee or not? It may not be. It could coincide with it and may absolutely may not. But if there's some underlying um, heart disease in your family especially or stroke, you really need to pay attention to your own symptoms and educate yourself. And you have a big event coming up at the end of the month. We do. It's um, the... Heart Association is the Go Red for Women luncheon, and that's going to be at the log cabin um, uh, at the end of the month. I believe it's the 26th, I believe, February on a Friday. It's a luncheon, um, and it's a beautiful event. Um, a few years ago, I was one of the leading ladies, and I encourage everybody to attend or participate, and it's wonderful. And wear your red. Wear your red this month. Yeah, you might notice a lot of people wearing red, and that's a good way to bring awareness to heart disease. And as I said, if it's number one, put yourself number one as well. Angela, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing that with us. Thank you. Thank you.